Hello Cancer, this is your mid-November 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Cancer individuals, but I'm hoping to get the majority of you. Let's see if we can get a new energy here, but this is for Cancer, mid-November 2018. Cancer, mid-November 2018. See what the beginning energies are. Cancer now has, I believe, the North Node going into their sign, which I'm told brings faded events. I think it's for the, the next 18 months. Should be interesting. Let's see what energies we, we're coming up with. Beginning energy. Queen of Disc in reverse. Can you see it? You could be dealing with an Earth energy. <clears throat> Someone basically taking on that energy. It can be an Earth sign. It can be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. They are in reverse. So, I don't know if you're taking on this energy. Because it's not a water sign usually. But you can take on this energy. But it could be someone around you that is taking on like an Earth sign element. And they're in reverse. They're not feeling... A lot of stability right now in their lives. They don't feel very stable, I should say. In the past, things might not have been moving forward or they may have been a little chaotic for some of you. Or those around you. Now I'm going to clarify with this deck. It's a new deck right here. So I'm getting used to it. But the chariot in reverse, like I said, it can, it can mean many things. That's why I do clarifiers. And I always read reversals. Just the way I am. The chariot in reverse. Why are you there for cancer in the past? May have been chaotic. Felt betrayed. Stab in the back. An ending occurred. And you were aiming for happiness, but you didn't, I don't think you got it. You were going for it, even though someone hurt you terribly. Someone betrayed you. It was chaotic. And you were trying to regain the happiness. But there was a shadow attached to this happiness. Let me get another card. The chariot. Ten of Swords and the Sun card. Why are you there in the past for Cancer? Maybe you're going to try to let things go in your life, huh? Bit of an argument. Five of Swords, a fight occurred over it. Obstacle. You think that was the obstacle, but it's not. This is someone feeling disappointed. Has a bit of sorrow. It's five of cups. It's in reverse. Why are you there as the obstacle for cancer? Could have to do with the king of wands. King of wands could be a fire sign or someone taking on that energy. Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius because I'm reading for the masses. But oftentimes is this someone taking on that energy? You could be having disappointment with this type of person, this king of wands. They're in the upright. Maybe you were expecting something from them and they didn't deliver. Or maybe you weren't on the same page with this person for some, for some reason. Can I get another card for the five of cups and the king of wands as the obstacle for cancer? I'm trying to shuffle these cards. King of pentacles. Could be actually the same person, and they're trying to take on this energy. Stable person, successful, looked, high, look high, looked highly in the community. Can I get another card? Ooh, we got a lot of cards coming out. Queen of Wands, you got a lot of people around you. And moving on from troubled waters. Okay. So what's going on here is that you may be having trouble keeping balance with people around you and you're disappointed in them or they're disappointed in you or there was a fight like I said in the past an argument there were some betrayals and people weren't happy so they were kind of like I don't know 
arguing. A lot of them are in the upright. I don't see them as terrible people or bad people. But I think you're trying to move on to calmer waters with them, or they're trying to move them to, move on to calmer waters with you. And it's a little bit of an obstacle trying to obtain this situation, get it back to where you wanted. Current environment, the Queen of Wands, again, you could be taking on this energy. Or it could be a fire sign there in the upright. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Current environment, why are you there? Queen of Wands for Cancer. Got a lot of people are coming in and around you. There was betrayal and arguments, though. I don't see these people as being terrible. I think there's a lot of miscommunication of anything. And travels. It could be have something to do with traveling. So you may have a disruptive chat, you know, when you go to travel somewhere, especially for the holidays, something may become dis disrupted. Maybe you're having disagreements of who is seeing who for a family event. Queen of Wands, why are you there? It's the current environment in mid-November. Remember that, mid-November. They may not, this Queen of Wands may not be accepting communications. They may not be seeing things clearly. Or you may not be seeing things clearly with this Queen of Wands. You're just not getting it. It could be that a couple of people have blocked each other, too. Can I get another card for the Queen of Wands and the Two of Swords? Both in the upright. The Empress. Someone may be coming out, for just a few of you, that there may be a pregnancy, a new pregnancy. You may be hearing about a pregnancy, or you yourself may be, uh, be, may be pregnant, just for a few of you. And you may not be telling anybody right now, not right now, you may be holding back, or some of you may not be, know that you're pregnant. That could be too. But this also has to be fruitful gains and growth and blessings from the Empress. And someone may not be accepting what you have to say. Can I get another card for the Queen of Wands, the Two of Swords, and the Empress card for Cancer? They, they're sad about something, about having to go away. That's the Eight of Cups walking away and upset. Maybe some of you are upset about wanting to have children. Maybe some of you thought maybe you couldn't have any, but that may change soon for a few of you. It also could be about family gatherings. Like I said, people were arguing and blocking each other. They're all, I don't see them as terrible people. I, I see that someone feels they were betrayed and an argument got out of control and people were taking sides with each other. But it could be also the universe t stating that you may be thinking about just walking away from all the arguments and situation. I'm not saying for good. I'm just saying walk away from the negativity. What is coming towards you, outside environment, or what's causing all this? You are the Prince of, Princess of Cups. Princess of Cups is in the upright. we got a lot of upright people here. I think it's just a real big misunderstanding for a lot of you. Or disappointment that you can't be with somebody or family or something. Or Princess of Cups, why are you there? It's a water type element. Could be you. It's another Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Why are you there, Princess of Cups? In the upright as the outside environment. Chariot again. Someone's wanting to move forward. Some of you may be moving or wanting others to move. Travel. This I think it has something to do with travel too. I'm, I don't know why. Chariot is about travel, and I did see this over here. The Six of Swords has something to do with travel. This has to do with travel. 
So some of you may be traveling or others may be traveling towards you and arguments may occur. But I think you'll work it out. Let me see. Another card for the Princess of Cups and the Chariot. Oops. Strength. This person has strength. They're wanting to move forward. This could be you. The outside environment could be you. It could be what's um, trying to bring all this together. It's bringing the whole situation together and what's going on. And it could be you, like I said, or another, another water type element, energy. This person is moving forward and has strength. So I think it, it's going to work out somewhat. But we got to find out for sure. i got to get to the end here. Okay, the final outcome. Ooh, an ending. What is the ending about? It's a death card. It's in the upright. Don't know what that's about yet, but it's something put putting something to rest. Could be the argument that you're putting to rest. Putting an end to disagreements. Let me find out for sure though. The death death card, why are you there? As the final outcome for cancer. Working things out, a little give and take. Let me think. Has to do with charity and helping somebody that maybe lost something. Could be a couple of you, not many of you, could have lost somebody in your life and everybody's getting together on it. Coming together on it. But for others, a lot of you are putting something to rest that needs to be. Some disagreements possibly. Like I said, it's got to be some give and take. And that's the Five of Pentacles. So somebody doesn't feel left out in the cold. So people don't feel abandoned. Because there are people that are feeling a little left out. So if this is the case, and you're seeing this, this is part of you, you may want to reach out to the people around you because someone may be feeling left out. You may have forgotten somebody. Maybe someone didn't get a call. Maybe something was blocked somehow. But like I said, there's going to be some traveling involved here. Whether you're going to individuals, family situations, or they're coming to you, it is coming together. And like I said, you could be putting arguments to rest, a lot of you, most of you. Putting an end to negativity, because that's what the death card is too. It's putting an end to something that needs to be put the, you know, a stop to. And it looks like you're going to do that. You're going to put an end to something. And there's give and take involved with the Six of Pentacles. And you may be helping somebody. Somebody that feels a little left out. But if you don't know who this person is, you may want to reach out because someone may be feeling left out. So remember that. You want everybody to be cheerful. All these people are in the upright, so they're good people. And the cancers I'm reading for are decent people. This has a lot to do with family and friends and loved ones. Can I get another card for cancer? And you're going to be thinking about it, <laughs> probably because I said something. This is a nine of wands, so trying to contemplating what you're going to do next. And what you're going to do next is, is probably help somebody out or reach out. Or like I said, they may reach out to you. And I do believe it'll move forward in mid. This will happen in mid-November, and luck will be on your side when you do it. Good fortunes, positivity, things are moving forward for Cancer. Remember, we have the North Node, like I said, going your sign, or is in your sign, I should say, and it's fated events for over a year. It'll be over a year, almost two years. It'll be, you know, happening. It was in Leo. But this is your reading. Reach out to people. Cancer. Reach out. Or look for others to reach out to you. And don't, don't block them. Okay? Because positivity happens in the end when you all get together. And put negativity to rest. Put Let sleeping dogs lie and keep them there. Okay? And that is your reading. I'm going to let this go. And I'll talk to you later.
Bye.